Hi guys, EBP Man with Tablets for Me. And today we're going to do an unboxing and review of a docking station for your Dell Venue 8 Pro. This docking station is provided to us by Pluggable. So the Pro 8 docking station is really going to give you the ability to do uh, several things. As you see here, based on the illustration here in the box, it's going to allow you to have your Windows tablet connect to this specific docking station that we'll be reviewing to give you access to several devices. It's going to give you um, some extra ports so you have connectivity to all these USB potential devices, so a mouse, keyboard, printer, camera, and what have you. Um, it's going to give you Ethernet capability uh, due to the port that you see there. Uh, also give you an external port so that you can connect your uh, your tablet to a monitor. You'll notice that there's some other accessories that you could really take advantage of here. Uh, microphone, headphones, um, also um, USB enclosures. Really what it's going to do for you is it's going to allow you to transform your tablet into an equivalent desktop solution. Let's take a look and see what's inside and we'll see how it works. Inside the box, you're going to find several accessories. First, you'll find yourself a instruction guide, the actual docking station itself, a stand for the docking station, several video adapters, and we'll take a look at those in a second. Uh, you have a power adapter for the actual docking station itself, and then you have a couple um, USB uh, cables as well. So let's take a closer look at um, some of the accessories to see how you'll use them. The actual uh, docking station comes with two video adapters, um, and we'll flip these around so you'll notice that this is what you'll be connecting uh, right uh, into the actual uh, docking station itself, so don't worry about that. The flip side is what you're interested in, so we'll flip them around. So this is going to give you the ability to connect either a standard VGA to your computer, so if you have a standard VGA uh, monitor, or HDMI, so either one is going to work. In addition to having the video plugs or adapters, you have have here um, a stand for your docking station and this is pretty straightforward to connect. All you do is you take uh, the stand and you connect it this way and you'll notice that there's a little notch there that's going to connect with this one right here. So all you do is you just slide it in that way. So I'm just going to go do that off camera real quick so that you can see how the docking station looks. So I've attached the actual stand to the docking station, and so now it's going to stand like this. It's not going to take up a lot of room. Um, in the front, you'll see that you have two USB ports, one here and one here. Then you have a headphone jack and a microphone jack. If we flip it around, you'll see that you have, you, this is going to be, again, uh, your video out, which is right now standard DVI, but we have the adapters that we uh, showed earlier. So I'm going to be connecting this to an HDMI uh, monitor, so all I do is I take this adapter, um, screw it in right here, and then I have my my HDMI out. You also notice that you have some additional ports on the back here. You have a micro USB uh, so that you can connect uh, your device uh, to this, so you'll be doing that. And then uh, what you have is some additional ports right here for again uh, USB, and then you also have an Ethernet cable. So this is really going to provide you with multiple. Uh, connection options that far exceed what you have on some of the, the smaller tablets like the Dell Venue. So um, here as we look here you also have your power adapter. So I have uh, a Dell Venue. Just to show you why this is so important to have all those accessories, you notice that if we look at the Dell Venue, there are only um, one connection point right here. So you have uh, this port, which is typically your micro USB charging port, but when you look at any other area of the Venue, there is nothing else that you can connect. So this device in itself has very limiting or very limited capabilities to, of expansion. This docking station that we're looking at from Pluggable is really going to give us the ability to expand this to use it in a way that we wouldn't be able to with the actual tablet by itself. Let's see how everything connects and then we'll go ahead and connect it to a monitor. Now before installing the actual docking station or plugging it into your Dell venue, what you'll need to do is go to the pluggable website and go to the area that focuses on this specific model which is the pluggable Dell venue 8 Pro docking station. As you scroll down you'll be able to find an area that really focuses on support. I'm just showing you the actual website so you can see some of the uh, information that you find on there uh, similar to what we're covering here in this uh, video. But at the very top uh, of this section uh, you'll find an area that really 
really focuses on support for the product and drivers. And you'll see that right here at the very top. Once you go into this area, you'll download and install the actual drivers that you'll need uh, in order to support the graphics uh, card as well as some of the features that are there. So if we zoom in here for a second, you'll see there's a couple things here. You'll need the USB graphics display driver and the networking driver. This, of course, if you plan on plugging your Dell Venue uh, through an Ethernet cable, which is provided um, inside of the uh, pluggable docking station, because this device itself doesn't really have the ability to support any type of network interface outside of a Wi-Fi one. I'm not going to be using that feature for now, but I just wanted to show you where you'd go and you install the drivers. Now, what I've done so far is I've taken the adapter, the video adapter that allows me to connect an HDMI, and then I've also uh, plugged in the actual power cord that came uh, with the power adapter. Now, the next step, and you'll see in the front that the LED, uh, the power LED is enabled, so there's power coming into the unit. You'll find included in the box this cable, which is has you know a double male uh, micro USB connector, and you're going to take that, and here in the back you see that plug. You're going to connect it. So we're going to connect one end to that, just like that. So you see that it's connected, and then the other piece you're going to connect it to your actual tablet. Now the Dell then you only has one um, interface port, which is um, this one that you see right here. So there isn't, there aren't any other areas that you can plug it into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position my tablet here, so, so you guys can see what's happening in camera, and then I'm going to plug the uh, micro USB into that port. So taking my micro USB cord, making sure that it's in the right direction, which I believe is this side up. I'm going to plug that in. plugged in all the way and I've already installed the driver so I did that a couple seconds ago one of the things that you will notice is that the uh, the actual Dell venue powered up and you'll notice here on the bottom uh, the actual drivers um, are now being configured uh, you'll also notice that there's power going to the actual Dell that's why the screen actually um, got much brighter we're going to allow uh, you know this process of installing the device to complete and then once it's complete we'll go ahead and uh, continue the recording. So now let's talk about the setup. I have the pluggable Pro 8 docking station. It has an HDMI connection coming out to my large monitor and you'll see that in a second. It's a 40 inch monitor, uh, Samsung. Um, I also then have that cable coming out that's uh, connected to my Dell venue that is um, powering and also taking the video display out. Um, I have this uh, USB cable coming out that is supporting uh, this mouse. So I have a mouse connected to my tablet. And then I have this uh, USB cable uh, supporting an external hard drive. Just so that you can see um, some of the versatility, uh, it would be hard to actually have a ca uh, large full-size keyboard and camera, so I just left the, ca the keyboard out. But the keyboard also could connect as I still have ports available, and um, it would work as I've already tested this. So let's now take a look at what's your experience or what really happens once you have um, all these devices connected. So the first thing I'll point out is the mouse pointer. Uh, I am moving the mouse around and you'll notice that there is now a mouse pointer that was typically not part of the uh, tablet uh, experience and that is only possible because I have the mouse connected to the actual docking station. The other thing will zoom in and let me just make sure you can see this by just moving the camera slightly into this direction. I'm going to zoom in and I just want to show you how um, I'm going to click on the explore button. We'll bring this into camera once it comes up. Okay, there it is. So here I have my explore uh, my Explorer open and you'll notice that I have my PC and as I continue to go down um, I also have my Seagate drive so here which is larger you notice this is the C drive for the actual Dell tablet uh, really doesn't have a lot of space I'm actually almost out of space and then beneath it I have a micro SD card uh, plugged in and then here I have my Seagate uh, backup drive and that's the drive that I showed you that I have connected to the hub so I'm going to double click on it and I'm in it. And you'll notice that the performance is really good. Uh, it's not something that I would say 
uh, I can feel that I am going through you know, a hub or a docking station in this case that it impairs the actual performance whatsoever. Um, I'll go ahead in, uh, into this uh, folder uh, just to show. I oh, didn't mean to do that. Well, there's nothing in there. So that looks like what's going on there. Um, you know, I can select any of the uh, of the folders or any of the files in there without any problem. If I want to open up, you know, the warranty information on the actual uh, drive itself, I've double clicked on that, and that's um, opening up uh, within a couple seconds. Uh, one thing I will warn you, and this is just part of the nature um, of the Dells themselves, it has nothing to do with the actual technology, but the venue is not the most ultra powerful uh, tablet it's a portable tablet right so you're not gonna have the performance of a of a gaming desktop or of any other kind of desktop but you can see right here that the actual PDF opened uh, and it's still updating so it'll take a couple seconds but that's uh, really focusing on the performance of the tablet itself not so much the performance of all the connectivity that we have going on now let's go ahead and take a look at how the monitor works with the extended display as well as some of the other features so now let's take a look at the actual uh, screen configuration, screen resolution. So I am right clicking on my tablet screen. I'm going to choose screen resolution. And when I choose screen resolution, you'll notice two things will show up. Here is my tablet uh, screen. And then what you have here is this is my secondary monitor. This actually happens to be my larger display that I will we'll jump to in a second. But you have the ability, um, just as you would with any other monitor, to really um, choose what you want the experience to be. You can either duplicate the display, so what you see here appears on the screen, or you can choose the extended display. If I have two monitors and I mean, you have a tablet, I tend to go with the extended display option. That's my personal preference. Um, and what you could also do is you can determine just by selecting it, as I'm doing here, going from one or the other, you can determine which one is going to be uh, your main display, and you can see that option here. So for those of you who are, uh, I would say, frequent users of this configuration or familiar with screen resolutions, you'll notice that there's really nothing out of the ordinary here. It's um, And the point is to show you that it does support the standard features inside of Windows. And once you make your configuration changes, you would just choose Apply if there were any changes that had been made. Now, my mouse pointer is here. And if I move my mouse pointer in this direction, it will disappear. And it's right now going off camera because what you're doing is I'm actually going to my larger monitor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the, the actual camera up a little bit so you can see what's happening. So I'm going to bring it up and you can see I'm going to try to show both portions of the screen. The bottom portion of my screen here in the bottom, which let's see if I can get the actual pointer to be visible. There's my pointer, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my pointer up over and you'll notice it will disappear but then uh, it should show up. Let me bring it so it becomes visible on camera. There's the pointer. Uh, and what we'll do is now we'll just pull out so that you can see the actual monitor itself. So I'm going from my Dell venue now and now I'm changing the focus onto the monitor. So here I have the actual uh, monitor and you'll notice that I'm on the pluggable website. Uh, I'm really just leveraging the, the power of the tablet um, and just using the video display options that come with the pluggable Pro 8 docking station to showcase how I'm extending the monitor and if I tap uh, click on another tab you notice here you'll get to my YouTube channel and the performance is pretty good right it's um, again it's what you would expect from the actual tablet itself now what I'm gonna do uh, is actually I've already typed in uh, a website that I wanted to go to just so that you can see what the performance would be like so let me go ahead and hit enter and then you'll see how quickly the screen updates so I'm gonna go ahead and press enter now All right. Let me move that away for a second. And now what it's doing is just you know doing the standard uh, Windows uh, process to to reach the website. Uh, it's probably not the fastest experience that I would say. Let's do that one more time. So here I have once again uh, the URL that I'm going to be going to, and I just brought up my virtual keyboard since I don't have a physical keyboard connected, and I'm just going to hit um, enter or return. Uh, again. All I just wanted to show you is actually the performance of what your experience would be if you were to extend your display to the actual um, secondary screen. Performance and the updating is good in my opinion and really any kind of latency or performance that you may see on the screen is a direct result of the tablet itself's capability to deal with 
just you know standard websites and navigation so it's no faster no slower than it would be as if I was using the actual tablet um, in my hand at least that's how um, I perceive the experience so uh, what I've just shown you is how you can have the actual um, monitor in this case that you have here um, the tablet connected with a mouse and a physical hard drive connected through uh, the monitor actually connected through an HDMI port well, that's it, guys. This concludes our review of the pluggable Pro 8 docking station for the Dell 8 uh, Pro, that Dell venue. I hope you enjoyed the video and you were able to see clearly how this docking station really extends the abilities of your tablet, giving you the ability to extend it uh, by connecting a hard drive, a mouse, a keyboard, and even connecting it to large monitors and having that dual display capability that you thought was only possible if you had a laptop or desktop computer. I'll leave the uh, link to this product from Amazon. I will also give you the ability to have any comments or questions. Uh, once again, please like, share, subscribe, uh, and once again, uh, thanks for watching.